To operate a Pinacho ML lathe properly, we must know how its main controls and commands work. In this video you will be able to identify them easily and know how they work. The spindle rotation joystick, located on the side of the apron, starts the lathe and allows us to choose the direction of rotation of the main spindle. By pressing down, the spindle will rotate in the working direction, and by pressing up, the spindle will rotate in the opposite direction. The speed regulator potentiometer of the spindle is used to increase or decrease the revolutions per minute by simply turning the knob to the right or left. With the coolant on-off selector, we will activate or deactivate the injection of coolant to the working area. And with the manual grease bump, we will lubricate the bed and cross-slide guides. It is important to check the lubricant level of the machine at least every three hours to ensure proper operation of the lathe and a good part finish. Pinacho ML conventional lathes incorporate a lubrication level indicator on the apron to make it easier to check the filling of the reservoirs. On the front panel of the gearbox there is a selector knob for changing working ranges. When the RPM selector is placed in the gear position, we can modify any of the levers of the speed box and the Norton box. In this way we will determine the feeds and revolutions per minute we need to manufacture a part. To continue with work, we will place the selector in the work position. Also on the front panel of the gearbox is the brake type selector knob. When placed in brake mode, the lathe stops immediately, while if the control is placed in resistance mode, it stops by ramp. Brake mode should only be used in working range 1. There are four ways to stop a Pinacho ML lathe depending on the task being performed by using the head swivel joystick located on the right side of the apron, by using the emergency stop button located on the front of the apron, by using the foot brake, a red bar located at the bottom of the lathe, by using the plate protection. Pinacho ML lathes offer three working speeds, which are activated by means of the gear selection lever located on the front panel of the gearbox. Each of these speeds has a range of revolutions that will depend on the size and characteristics of each lathe. With the potentiometer we can increase and decrease the revolutions per minute, even stop it completely within the range defined for each speed. As we are machining our workpiece, coolant and chips flow through the main spindle. Both go to a tank located at the back of the spindle. The coolant is filtered and follows a return cycle to be returned to the tray and reused. On the other hand, the chips are stored in the drawer. It is advisable to clean this drawer periodically through the door provided for this purpose. Coolant is a product composed of water and oils. It is used during machining processes of metal removal. It improves the conditions of the contact area between metals, reducing friction. It avoids overheating of the tools and the parts on which they operate. Helps the evacuation of chips and filings, prevents the appearance of rust and has a cleaning effect. We can fill the coolant tank by pouring it directly into the tray or we can do it using the drawer provided for this purpose. The lathe tray is equipped with a filter that helps to retain the solid particles resulting from machining, whether they come directly from the cutting area or from the tank located at the rear of the head. To check the level of the coolant tank, there is a sight indicator located on the tank door. Follow our contents to learn more about Pinacho lathes. In our blog you will find many more useful contents.